Hello. I'd like to welcome you to Providence Canyon State Park. I'm Faye Thompson. Hope that you enjoy your visit here. We have uh, quite a unique setting here. We have a variety of things to offer you. We have hiking trails. We have a three mile hiking trail. We have a seven mile hiking trail. We have a picnic area, small playground. So if you'd like to get out with your family, this is a good place to come. We're known as a day use conservation park. Uh, also, we have a lot of different formations in the canyon. This became a state park in 1971. Uh, since then, a lot of work has been done here. We still have a lot of work to do. We lost approximately 200 trees to opal. And we're still doing a lot of work here with this and some replanting. Um, we have a lot of different varieties of wild, uh, wildflowers. We do have a spring and a fall wildflower day. Also, we have our uh, famous kudzu takeover day, which is August the 10th this year. So all of you that are interested in this, come on out. You can do your hiking. You can also uh, attend the kudzu day. You will see, if you look into the canyon, you'll see a lot of the different colors starting with the top layer, the red, which is your Clayton. That's where your iron oil comes from. You will also see a lot of the white, which is kaolin. Now that's used by potters. And they manufacture or mine a lot of that in Sandersville, Georgia. Now here, there's not enough to mine, but sometimes we do do some clay making with the children. Uh, we also, for those of you that cannot do extensive hiking, we have some beautiful and overlooks. They normally go down into the canyon. They usually area. make a day of or it. We have a lot we of senior all the way from groups Rome, that do Georgia. that. Now we have a Savannah, lot of school groups that and come from here. from Alabama and some out of Florida that come here. This is one of your seven wonders of Georgia. So we do hope that you enjoy coming here. If we can give you any information, you just call us. Our number is 912-838-6202. There will be somebody that will help you and try to help you understand about the trails. We call this trails moderate. And get in touch with us. You're in one of the most beautiful spots in the state of Georgia. Y'all come. Also, uh, we do guided hikes. We do like for you to call and let us know. But if some of you would like a guided hike, be sure. In the early 1800s, this land was settled by Reverend David Lowe. They were started planting cotton here. And eventually, the land started eroding. Back in the early 1800s, people did not know much about how to keep your land. Be started becoming gullies. They didn't know anything about um, leaving your land fallow, crop rotation, or contour plowing. And once the gullies started forming from the land being clear-cutted, they did not really know what to do with it. So the gullies then became what they call big ditches. The big ditches then became the canyons. And in the canyons, there are nine fingers in it, what we call nine fingers on the three-mile trail that you can go into. They're block canyons, so you just turn around and come back. Now, the seven-mile trail is mostly wooded backcountry, although you do go across six canyons and down in one. Now, the settlers, when they did come here, finally they just gave up this land or sowed the land off and uh, then it became the state park. The church, Providence Church, that sits across the road here at the canyon, it does not belong to the canyon, but this was the church that the canyon is named from. It's the Providence Church, and this is where the canyon got its name. 